a black square on a white background. What could be simpler, but this is a complete game changer. It's one of the most influential paintings of the 20th century. It seems so simple, but it's very difficult to look away once you've started looking. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm here at Tate Modern for the first ever major show in the UK of the work of Kazimir Malevich. There's an extraordinary range of work on show. Paintings, sculptures, drawings, costume design, and what he's best known for, abstract geometric art. This is the first major retrospective of Malevich in this country. It brings together 420 works from 41 different lenders coming from 11 different countries. So an extraordinary opportunity to reconsider the work of this artist. Malevich was born near Kiev in 1879, and his early works are full of religious mysticism, steeped in the colours of the folk art and the iconography he was surrounded by in his youth. This is a great example where Malevich has chosen a really typical Russian subject matter, which is the peasant scyther out reaping his harvest. For me, where it's really different is the way he's painted it, which is bringing in these new influences of Cubism from Paris. And he's painted this peasant like he's assembled from pre-made metal sheets. And it's very much in tune with these new ideas of machine age that's entering in Russia. And also this revolutionary idea of the worker that was brewing up at the time. Just three years later, in 1915, a new exhibition opens in St. Petersburg. By now, all trace of the real has gone. Abstraction reigns, and in the center of the show is the mysterious black square hung across the corner of the room, the traditional place for an icon. Malevich called his new style suprematism. He wrote of it like a poet and thought of it like a priest. Malevich spoke of his abstract geometric shapes as the victory of pure form over realism. So it's really paintings like these that for most people are the apotheosis of Malevich's achievement. It's the clean lines and pure geometric forms and after he tried on lots of different styles and techniques, he finally found one that was purely his own suprematism and I find them strangely alluring and beautiful. Right up until the end of his life, Malevich was able to show his work, but almost immediately after he died, museums were ordered to take his works off the wall to hide all the avant-garde work, to put it into storage. Um, eventually, they were even asked to destroy this work, such as the painting behind me, but um, some brave curators actually saved the work, preserved it, kept it into storage, so that eventually, when it became possible to show the work again, this could be rediscovered and put newly onto display. And interestingly, I think for most artists now and over the past 20, 30 years, the black square remains an iconic point of reference and they always evoke Malevich as um, one of the bravest figures in modern art, a real example, a real model. Malevich is a remarkable artist who deserves to be better known in the UK. I think he's one of the best artists of the 20th century. If you can come and see this exhibition, do. It's on until October. <laughs>